Thanks for checking in. My name is Rajiv Kogan. What we have today here is the Galaxy S9 Plus. I also went with the lilac purple just in case anybody's wondering how this would actually look as it is one of the latest colors. At one point, the S9 Plus seemed too big and now it seems perfectly fine. So it's just preference, you know, it just keeps changing. It is what it is. So overall, you know, I got this on launch day. I was super excited. It got shipped over. I opened the box up and I'm like, you know what? Let me set this up. Now, here's the thing. It was probably the worst experience I ever had. I started noticing this weird red tint. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the screen. I'm hoping you can see it, but technically it's like when Google Pixel 2 came out and it had this weird tint on it where it looked a little too blue or a little too warm based on different angles. You had to keep it dead straight. Any other angle, you're just probably looking at a different type of color tone. So that kind of threw me off. And I thought that's what's actually happening with the Infinity display. They went with this warm, super crazy color in different angles. So we went, we went to the display settings. We actually changed everything as possible. I went to basic. When I switched it from AMOLED to basic, that's when the colors got a little bit better. But I could tell from the previous devices, especially since I had the S8, that there's something wrong with this device. But hey, I restarted the phone, it didn't fix it. I just went with the flow. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna review it as is. My experience was crap, the phone is crap. I'm gonna hate on it. I did actually make a video where I was just bashing it. And then I was like, there's something wrong. Something prompted me. I'm like, let me just wipe the phone. Maybe because I synced my old information from my S8 into this using the, you know, the Samsung account and maybe that triggered a setting. So once I actually formatted the device, it was perfectly fine. So I don't know, I don't know if it was bad luck. My whole video, <laughs> before to right now it's two different videos overall lives up to being a very very good flagship device i was excited about intelligence scan so i set that up pretty similar to the iphone x pretty much scans your face and then uses it to authenticate obviously this also has a new fingerprint location Thank you. this is the most convenient spot not sure who wanted this and I, I always rant about it but this is just it doesn't make sense so what samsung did was they actually allowed you to swipe to not only read and record the fingerprint, but also to log in. So instead of kind of tapping, you know, a few times to record the different areas of your finger, uh, what it did is it recognized the fingerprint easily by just a swipe. I got excited for only one thing and that's the camera. And that's always been the, the case with almost any phone because they're pushing the limits. Them taking a step further saying they're adding a way to, you know, change the aperture. So pretty much bringing down the aperture to have a f-stop of 1.5. What does that mean? bringing in more light so you can get way better shots during the night. That is great and that's amazing. And I feel like, you know, that was a new step into the smartphone um, photography market. And what gravitated me towards actually wanting this is because they have a chipset in the lens to pretty much figure out when to switch over, right? So it has its own memory of some sort, picking these different, different scenarios to give you the better experience. And that's the only way it's actually being able to process a video of 960 frames per second to give you that super slow motion feel. So that's pretty much why I got this. And that's what the focus of this video is. I spoke about the setup, I spoke about the hates, and I'm here to talk about what I really liked about this camera and what I didn't like. There were times that we're taking videos and we couldn't figure out how to actually track the person to pick up the 960 frames per second mode. So we tried automatic. Automatic is a super big fill. Then we finally figured out manual and this is where i get really confused when people think of making these cool things but don't think about the practicality of making it simple for someone to use the manual focus version wasn't so compelling for any type of user we actually tested this for at least 30 minutes before figuring it out there was a, there were times where it actually never picked it up i would be running back and forth and you know it's just me running back and forth it was actually funny we were laughing at it but that's the problem here you're losing the moment 960 frames per second is about the moment and you're pretty much losing it because it sucks. So that's my biggest gripe when it comes to this device and its lens and its camera and its whole reimagined marketing technique. It is, but it's not yet there. But when it did work, oh man, it was beautiful. 
this flame this flame was so beautiful when it was sparking up right so there were certain times when it did happen we all had an awe moment like, whoa that's crazy but that's the thing it's amazing when it worked the next thing we want to do was actually test uh the live focus mode which is pretty much their portrait mode we put it up against uh, the google pixel 2 xl which my brother has we put it up against my iphone x and the oneplus 5t so pretty much it was a test across a different type of devices uh, that are pretty much their flagships and i don't know it, it's a close call i mean you can see that the 2xl has the most details whereas the actual s9 plus has a little bit more edge detection look to it because the live focus can be edited and then we have the iphone x that kind of gives you a, a more warm feeling i say and then um, you know, the OnePlus 5T, it, it's a great phone, it has a great camera, but it's not the best camera. So the more biggest focus here would be the X, the 2XL, and obviously S9. There is no real winner. It really comes down to the lighting, to the shot, to the type of shot, right? Each one is probably going to perform differently each time you take it, but I can guarantee you that it is way better than the S8 for sure. And just to show you an example here, I actually took this with my wife's S8. This is low light in S8 compared to low light in the S9 you can tell there's a huge difference and you can tell there's actually the f1.5 making its magic here giving a nice finish to look to be honest no other phone has ever achieved great low light photography other than samsung they've always pushed the boundaries and i can guarantee you that they've done a really good job in this one other than that everything else is pretty much a software upgrade so yeah you're stuck with the big speed dedicated button and now you do get the opportunity to use bixby voice hi bixby can you open my messages, please? The gamification on the Bixby voice recognition is pretty cool. The fact that it levels up, that only means there's machine learning put in. They're actually letting it evolve and learn and understand the way you communicate. So that is pretty cool. I've never used their Bixby drawer and I don't think I ever will. So I'm just gonna close it. Other than Bixby, obviously the biggest push was the Animoji like avatar. Uses the new sensors to scan your face and create an avatar version of you, hence the AR emoji, to allow you to play around with it, create short clips and send it out. Just like Animojis, I used it once or twice from the beginning, not my thing. iPhone X does a way better job recognizing your facial expressions and emotions and displaying it on the phone. Where if you look at the S9 Plus, the AR emoji is jittering, right? If you look at it, he, he's a little shaky. He's kind of reading your face, kind of not reading your face. Overall, it's something that wasn't compelling, and because of that, I don't think anyone's gonna use it. And because it does have the latest processor and a six gig RAM, I want to actually test out the gaming experience. Stack it up against the latest uh, player unknown app that got released. So not only did the app recommend using the better settings, the actual experience of playing a super fast paced action game on a mobile device, I would have to say it was super fast. If you were looking for a device that could play pub or if it could play Fortnite on a phone without any lags, Guaranteed at this screen size, you probably get the best experience. Overall, if I was to recommend it, it would still be for the camera, but don't get it for the super slow-mo. I would not recommend it because it's not there yet. They probably still need to refine the whole software experience. Yeah, they have the tech to do it. Software is not there yet. Now, what I would like to see, and I'm hoping someone picks it up, and maybe Samsung or the guys are to do it, is low light video shoots. Like it's you can't do it. You still need great lighting to take videos. You can be in a perfectly lit room and it still won't give you the best quality you need studio lighting or you need to be outside to get super slow-mo to work 100 percent and that's it guys that's it that's all i got for you um it's just quick video on the pros and the cons my experience what i liked about it what i didn't like about it here's the thing if you made it this far if you watched the video to the end that means you are just one click away from being an exclusive member of the rajiv cooking community now it's cool man you you, you get updates on the latest text you get to see my face sometimes. You get to talk to me if you want to. This is cool, man. This is it's cool. Do it. Hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna drink some tea. <sighs> Shoutouts to my wife. A good cup of tea during a review is probably the best thing that you ever get in life. Shoutouts to Crosswalk for letting me use their space. Check them out. <sighs> probably your best photographers in town. Yeah, I said it. I said it. For the price point, 5T's still the winner.